Okay, folks, we're just playing now. I've uh, released about four or five fish in the last 10, 15 minutes here. It's still uh, Sunday afternoon, June the 5th. And uh, this uh, number six mustad little hook with a piece of uh, mackerel on it is just unbelievable. So uh, I'm just gonna play play around with it a little bit because I I'm tired of digging the hook out of their mouth to release them without injuring them. But uh, I think I've got my new survival set up here. My uh, half a pole directly tied to the end, no reel, perfect setup for kids, about eight feet of line there, you don't need any more for kids, don't make it complicated, just set it up like this, little hook, piece of meat, and uh, tell them just to wait until uh, they feel the fish running away with it, simple setup, kids get all excited, for uh, learning how to fish, make it easy. <laughs> and uh, for survival fishing, it's gonna be perfect. So, now I've got a uh, market for my fish. I'll just give them to uh, Madi Free for now, over there at the uh, Marisco Min Minot. And uh, maybe later she can uh, teach me how to cook them up. I could even, uh, of course I gotta get all the fishing, uh, the, the license and everything to, to be using uh, fresh caught fish, but check all that out, what I gotta do to uh, be able to supply fresh, fresh fish to some of these restaurants or whatever, or my own survival situation, it's not gonna matter. Okay, here they come. <laughs> look at that, look at that, Ugh. look at that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play with them. Look at that. Let's see if I can get them to jump out of the water or something. Look at that. Oh my God. Of course, uh, fish, can, they, they look up, their eyes look up. Top of their heads. So they can see the bait up, up above them. I suppose bottom feeders, they look down to see what's on the bottom. But uh, get, let's see if we can get one to jump out of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't even need a sinker, folks. Just your little number six hook with a piece of meat. Just let it float in the water. About as simple as you can get. Those little hooks are going to be invaluable if we ever have a survival situation where, for real, we have to we have to survive. Probably uh, make a good living having a fishing line and little hooks, just selling them to other people. That's something to keep in mind. That's something that's very valuable. Okay. okay, let's see if we can get see if we can get a fish to jump out of the water. I've got the there's sea lions around. I haven't seen any real close today though. get a, feed, a feeding frenzy started get the feeding frenzy started and then they'll they'll jump out of the water to get it before their friends get it their buddies it's a competition folks it's, it's, it's just like pigeons you know you're feeding the pigeons and they whoever gets it first gets it same with the fish here Letting it down a little bit there. Okay. My left.
let it down till where they see it. Then I'm gonna pull it up because I'm tired of releasing them. Arr, look at that. Arr, darn it. <laughs> I didn't want to catch him, folks. I didn't want him. I didn't want to catch him. I didn't want to catch him. Uh, maybe it'll pull out. Maybe he'll throw the hook. Look at that. Maybe he'll throw the hook. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that fish action. Maybe a big bass or a halibut will come up and eat him. A shark or something. Look at that. Oh my God. These other ones are just hanging around him to see what, what's happening. Look, they just go crazy. Yeah, folks. Just go crazy when there's, when a fish has got something, the rest of them. Just go tra crazy trying to get him. Let's see if we were in the ocean, he'd be uh, he'd be live bait for uh, tuna or yellowtail. That's yeah. You just you just leave him on there live, live bait for tuna or yellowtail. Here in the bay, we might get a uh, halibut or a big bass to come get him. You know, if a, if a big bass sees that there's a mackerel in trouble, they'll, they'll eat the whole thing. They'll eat the whole thing. Look at that. We're just playing now, folks, just to see what happens. That is a, attracting a... The other fish school around, see what what he's got. I wouldn't be surprised if a big bass comes up and eats him. This little pole won't handle a big bass. Something that could eat that mackerel. It's gonna break this line in a heartbeat. It's number number twelve, size twelve line. The size six hook. <laughs> Come on, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be in trouble if a if a big bass comes up or a sea sea lion. You get this sucker. I'm gonna be in trouble. It's <laughs> break my line in a heartbeat. I better let this guy go. He's getting pretty tired. But that, that's what you call playing the fish. Let him play out. Get all of his energy wasted. That's what a, a normal rod and reel. You set the drag on the reel and let the fish run until they get tired. Here it's, see, he's not even, uh, he's getting pretty tired. It's not bending the pole too bad right now. But there sure are other mackerel down there interested in him. Is this is this even fair, folks? Is, is this even fair? <laughs> that number six mustad is just unbelievable how effective it is. Survival situation, that's what you need. Okay, folks, stay tuned. Stay tuned to what happens. Get a big bass come up and take a, or a halibut come up and take a bite of him. This little number six uh, hook with, uh, with the 12 pound uh, lightweight line is will not last. There's no there's no drag on this pole to catch anything too big. It, they're just gonna snap the line in a heartbeat. But that's just fishing, folks. It's fishing. That's how you learn. Okay, well, I'm gonna need two hands to bring him in and take that hook out. Okay, folks.